For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used two skeins of Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo in white. As for tools, I used a 5mm hook, stitch markers, and a tape measure. We're going to be using three stitches for this project, and they will be as followed. Chain. Single crochet. Double crochet. And this tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this cardigan started, we're first going to grab our Category 4 yarn, make a slip knot. We're going to grab our 6mm hook, and start off by making a chain that goes from shoulder to shoulder, but keeping in mind that we have to end on an even number. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last loop. We're going to do a chain up of 3, this counts as a double crochet. And by the way, my chain is 20 inches or 51 centimeters if anyone wants to know. But we're going to do a chain up of 3, this counts as a double crochet. From here, we're going to prepare for a double crochet. Insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off, or the fourth loop from the hook, with a double crochet. So let's do the next double crochet together, just a little bit more slowly. We're going to prepare for a double crochet. Insert our hook into that next loop that we have. We're going to yarn over, pull through that loop. And from here, we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our double crochet. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down our chain, just putting one double crochet into every loop. Now that we've made it to the end with our row of double crochet, our next row that we're going to do is a row of shells. So what we're going to do is do a chain up of three. That counts as a double crochet. We're going to flip our work, prepare for a double crochet, and we're going to count out three loops. So here's one, two, three. We're going to insert our hook into that third with a shell. And all a shell is, is three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, all into that same loop. So there is one double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet, all in one loop. We're going to chain out three, prepare for a double crochet, and put three more double crochet into that same loop. So there's one, two, and three. And then once we have that, what we're going to do from here is prepare for a double crochet. We're going to count out another three loops, one, two, three. We're going to insert our hook into that third loop with just one double crochet. So we have kind of a little post right here in between our shells. So let's do another shell, prepare for a double crochet, count out, one, two, three. Insert your hook into that third with a shell. And a shell is three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. And then count out another three, do another double crochet post into that third loop, and then continue doing this all the way down. So this is what we should have so far once when we have done our first row of shell all the way across. And as you guys can see, I do have a stitch marker into this little middle double crochet post that we have. And that is the reason why I mentioned that we should have an even number for our chain, because we want to end right in the middle like how we have right here, and not into our shell. But once when we get here, we're going to do another row of shells. So we're going to do a chain up of three. This counts as a double crochet. And then into this first shell gap, we're going to be going in with another shell. So a, uh, a set of three double crochet. There's one, two, three, chain three. Here it is. And then another set of three double crochet. It's one, two, three, all into that shell gap. And then once we have that, we aren't going to do a double crochet post into the double crochet post that we have on the other row. All we're going to do is do a chain out of one, prepare for a double crochet, and then go into that next shell with another shell. And then we're going to keep doing this all the way down to the other end, and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. So this is what we should have once we have our second row of shells all finished up. And once we get here, we're actually going to go in with another row of shells, doing the same type of stuff that we did in the previous row. So shell, chain one shell until we get to the shells that's right on the outside of where we have our stitch marker, which is just where our middle portion is. So I've made it all the way down with my next row of shells right up until we got to the outside shells right before we get to this little middle chunk that we have. And the last thing that I did was a shell and a chain one. And what we're gonna do into this loop is actually go in with a set of two double crochet. So we're not gonna be doing a shell into this guy. Into this guy, we have our chain up of one, we're going to go in with one, two, into that shell. 
and then once we have that we're going to chain out three and then we have this little gap in between these two shells we're going to go in with a v stitch and that's super simple all that is is one double crochet chain three one double crochet into that same gap and then just to finish this off so we can show you guys what it looks like we're going to chain out three into this next shell we're going to go in with two double crochet so there is one and then there is two and then on the outside we have a set of chain one on the outside so we're going to chain one and then continue doing your shells into this next shell but this is what we should have so far so this is our row of shells we have a chain one set of two double crochet chain three our v stitch into this middle gap that we have which just so happens to me a double crochet chain three double crochet chain three set of two double crochet into the next outside shell chain one and then we're going to continue doing shells from here on out and then once we get to the end we're going to chain up three flip our work and then continue doing shells all the way down until we get to this last shell right here and then i'll show you guys how to do this middle detail once when we have made our way all the way back and we're back at our set of two double crochet v stitch two double crochet we're going to start expanding our work so once when we get here we didn't do or the last thing we did was a shell and from here we're going to go in with a chain one and then we're going to put one double crochet into each of these double crochet loops so here is one double crochet into the first loop one double crochet into the next loop and then once we have that we do have a chain of three in the previous row but since we're going to expand we're actually going to cut that by two so all we're going to do is do a chain out of one and then into this middle gap we're going to be going in with 12 double crochet so go ahead and get started and put 12 double crochet into the middle of this v-stitch and this is what we should have once we're done with our little fan set and then once when we have that all we're going to do is do the same thing that we did on this side but on this side so we're going to chain out one and then into the set of two double crochet we're going to be putting one double crochet into each of those loops so there is one there is two and then from here chain out one prepare for a double crochet and then put one shell into this next shell gap and then continue doing that all the way down as we make it to the end chain up three flip our work work our way back until we get to this last shell and then we'll do the rest of this detail with each other so we've made it all the way down with our shells and all the way back and we stopped right before we got to our set of two double crochet but this is going to be the same but once we get here we're going to do a little fan expansion so let's do this portion first the last thing that we did was a shell so we're going to chain out one prepare for a double crochet go into that first double crochet loop with a double crochet go into the next double crochet loop with another double crochet and then from here we're going to chain out one and now we're going to start our fan expansions in order to start off our fan expansions it's pretty easy we already have a chain up of one right after our set of two double crochet so what we're going to do is prepare for a double crochet and we're going to insert our hook into this first double crochet loop that we have in our fan with just one double crochet and then once we have that we're going to chain one prepare for a double crochet put another double crochet into the next double crochet loop that we have so it's basically one double crochet into every loop but with a chain one in between and that is our expansion so go ahead and do oh boy go ahead and do that all the way around and then once we get to the other end of this fan expansion we're going to do the same thing that we did on this side so a chain one set of two double crochet chain one and then go down with your shells going all the way back down once we make it down to the end chain up three flip our work work our way back and then i'll meet you guys again so we are working into the row that is right after our fan expansion and we have stopped right before we got to our set of two double crochet and this row is going to be a little bit different because we're going to start by doing our loops but it's going to start to taper in just a little bit so we're going to need to do an extra chain in between the set of two double crochet and our loops so really quickly let's chain out one since we're on the outside of this set of two double crochet we have our chain up one prepare for a double crochet put one double crochet into this first double crochet put another double crochet into this next double crochet 
And then once we have that, we're going to do a chain out of two and then start doing our loops into the fan expansions. So our loops into the fan expansions are fairly simple. The last thing that we did was a chain out of two. So we're going to take a look at the first two double crochets that we have in our fan expansion. So here's one and then here's two. We're just going to insert our hook into that first gap with a single crochet. And then once we have that, we're going to make a loop, which is just chain up of three and then go into this next gap with a single crochet. And then that is our first loop. Let's do the next few together. Chain up three, go into this next gap with a single crochet. Let's do one more. Chain up three into this next gap, single crochet. And we're going to keep doing that all the way around our fan expansion. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do this portion together since it's just a little bit different. We've just done our loops going into every gap that we had in our fan extension. And then once we get here, we're going to chain out two, prepare for a double crochet, put one double crochet into each of these two double crochet loops that we have, just like that. And then once we have that, we are going to chain out one and then go into the next few shells that we have in with regular shells. And once we make it to the end, we're going to chain up three, work our way back with more shells until we get to this last shell. And then we'll do the rest of this detail together. So we've just made our way all the way back down with our row of shells. And now we're at our set of chain one, two double crochet, chain two in the previous row, and then our loops. So what we're going to do from here is just maintain everything just as normal. So we're going to chain one into this set of two double crochet. We're going to have one, two double crochet on top of that, just like regular. And this is going to maintain the same. We have a set of two chains. So we're going to chain up one, chain up two, and then into this first loop that we have, we're going to go in with a single crochet. Once we have that, we're going to chain up three into this next loop single crochet. Let's do this one more time. Chain up three, next loop, single crochet. And keep doing this all the way down. And then once when we make it to the other side, we're going to maintain this again. So chain two, one double crochet, two double crochet, chain one, and then shell, work our way back, and then I'll meet you guys back. So as you guys can see, we've made it all the way back with our row of shells. And this is what we should have so far, just as a really quick week recap just for the detail portion we have our v stitch and we have our fan we have our fan expansion and then we have one row of loops and another row of loops and we're about to go in with our third and from here on out it's going to be exactly the same i don't know if you guys can tell but if we pull it down a little bit our loops are actually starting to curve in so the rest of this is going to be the same it's just going to gradually get smaller and smaller and the only difference from there is that this chain that we have right in between our set of two double crochet and our detail is going to expand as this keeps getting smaller but for this row that we're currently working on it's going to remain the same as the previous two rows so the previous two rows was chain one two double crochet chain two and we have that for the row right before as well so we're going to keep that the same for this guy and then we're going to switch it up for the next row so let's do that and then i'll meet you guys back so that we can go in with our loops so going into our section right before the detail, we have our chain up of one, prepare for a double crochet, put one double crochet into the first double crochet, one double crochet into the next double crochet, and then this is what we should have. Once we have that, we have our chain out of two. So there's one, there's two. We're going to insert our hook into that first loop with a single crochet. And now we're gonna go in with our loops. So we're going to chain out three, single crochet into the next loop chain out three single crochet into the next loop and we ooh, are going to continue doing this all the way down coming all the way back and then we'll do the rest together we are now back to where our middle detail is and i'm sure you guys have guessed it but it's all going to remain the same except for this next row like i said we're going to be expanding this little chain that we have right here so all that's going to be is a chain of three in between the set of two double crochet in our detail and we're going to be maintaining that for three rows just like how we maintained the set of two chains for three rows as well so we'll do the first one together and then we will let you guys have at it from there and then in the clip after this i'll tell you exactly what happened once when all of this well most of this is done <laughs> 
So really quickly, just to let you guys know, we're working into our fourth row of loops. We have one, two, three rows of loops, and we're about to go into the fourth one, and that's the one that we're going to do our little increase in, but only for this chain. So since we're at our last shell, what we're going to do is chain out one, prepare for a double crochet, and then into this first double crochet, we're going to chain one, or chain one, I'm sorry, double crochet once, double crochet twice, and then into here, we're going to chain out one, two, three, and then into this first loop, do the same thing, put a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and then we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side, and also for the next two rows, so we'll have a total of three of these rows where we did a chain out of three. Once we have that, we're going to increase the chain into four for the three rows after that, and then keep increasing like that until all of these loops that we have right here until we just have three of these guys left and then I'll meet you guys back. So this is what we should have once when we have done up our entire detail and as you guys can see I'm meeting you guys back once when we have our three loops and I will insert a photo right here just so you guys can get a visual and see how many of the increased chains that we ended up doing but this is just mine if you guys ended up doing more fan more double crochets in your fans then it will end up being different but i just wanted to show you guys that we were increasing into every third row yeah so once when we get there we're actually going to start doing our next detail portion so once when we have that we're actually going to want to figure out where we want our second detail portion to begin so we're going to have one in the middle which is the one that we just did and then we're going to have two right underneath it on either side of the one that we just did so into this one i went ahead and figured out where it would be so i just made it even if you guys want to shift it over to one side that is completely up to you you can do that too since this is starting to taper you can shift this over completely up to you guys but i'm just going to have mine in the middle because symmetry <laughs> and then we're going to basically start this up the same way that we started up this guy so we'll start this together and then we're also going to end this guy together and then once when we end this, we're going to be already working on this. And then we're just going to keep doing everything that we're doing here all the way down until we have the length that you guys want. So I'm going to stop talking and then we will start this guy off together. So as you guys can see, I just have four shells and I just put my stitch marker in between the two middle ones that I had. So I went in with my first shell already because you guys don't need to watch me do it. It's terribly boring. But once when we do this, we're going to start off the same way that we did this guy down here. So all we did was, let me look, we started off with a chain one and then into this shell that's right next to the gap that we have in the middle, we're going to go in with two double crochet. So there's one, there's two. Once we have that guy, we're going to chain out three and then we're going to do a V stitch into this middle gap that we have. So we're going to toss that guy aside. We're going to go in with one double crochet, chain three, one double crochet. That's a loud car. There we go. And then once we have that, we are going to chain out three, prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into this next shell with one and two double crochets. We're going to chain one and then do our shell. So I'm going to finish up doing this shell and then I'm just going to show you what we have from there but it should be exactly the same as when we started the detail portion in the middle so and then we're actually going to do this on the other side too i'm not going to show you guys but we will do this on the other side it's going to be exactly the same so this is what we should have so however many shells you guys have on the outside that is up to you guys and your design but once when you guys figure out where your middle is you should have a chain one two double crochet chain three a what is this v stitch which is double crochet chain three double crochet chain three, two double crochet, chain one, shell, and then however many shells you have going back down. And then I know that we made it all the way down here, but we actually can do this part off camera because you guys already know how to do this stuff. So go ahead and continue doing this pattern until we just have one loop in the middle, and then we will meet each other back. That is loud. And then we'll meet each other back so that we can show you guys how to finish off this last guy right here so we are back we're not quite finished with this middle section yet but i just wanted to show you guys what we have so far so we went all the way down when i met you guys in the previous uh clip we had three loops so we went down now we have two loops we did all this the same we're not going to talk about this guy 
But as we went back, we had chain one, set of two double crochet, chain three, V-stitch, chain three, set of two double crochet, chain one, and shell. And then, like I said in the last clip, these outside shells, you guys could have more, you guys could have less, it doesn't matter, just as long as this detail portion is the same. But now that we know that, we're just going to do this detail portion together really quickly. We're going to make our way through here. We're not going to go through this together because you guys already know there's going to be one loop left once when we're done with this guy. And then once we have that done, we're going to work all the way down, flip our work, and then we're going to continue doing this pattern, working our way back. But once we get down to this middle port, port, once we get down to this middle part, I'll show you guys what to do from there. So this is where we're at with our work. We have gone in with one side and we did our fan expansions and we're working our way back down towards this middle detail that we have. And actually, we are right here, right where our set of two double crochets are. And we're going to kind of want this to start to taper in towards this way. So how we're going to do this is we're going to still maintain this chain, but we're actually going to be increasing on the outside now. And then we're going to remove a chain from the inside so that this can start to taper in. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So subtract the chain from this side and then add a chain in on this side. And then we're going to do a V-stitch into the middle of this guy. So first going into this set of two double crochet, we're going to do a chain out of two. We're going to prepare for a double crochet. Do the set of two double crochet like normal. And then however many chains you guys have in between your set of two double crochet and the detail portion, you're going to do that number, but subtract one. So I believe my number was five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go in with four. One, two, three, four. And then once when I have that, I'm going to be going into my very last loop that I have with a V stitch. So all that is, is prepare for a double crochet. Insert that into this middle loop. We're going to chain out three, prepare for a double crochet, go into that V stitch again, or go into that middle loop with the end of our V stitch. And then this is what we should have. And then now that we have this, we're going to do everything that we did on this side, but in reverse on the other side. So remember really quickly, I had a chain out of five right here. So I'm going to do a chain of four, two, three, four, maintain our set of two double crochet. There's one. There's two. Once we have that, we're going to increase on the outside since we subtracted on this side. So we're going to chain out two, prepare for a double crochet, and then insert our hook into this first shell with another shell directly inside of that guy. And then once when we get here, we're going to maintain our detail that we're doing here on this outside, because remember we're starting it out here. We're going to chain up three, go back maintaining our detail and then I'll show you guys what to do into this middle guy once when we get there. And now we are back. This is what we currently have. The row that we have right here that we just got not finished doing but got through with doing on this side detail is our first row of our loops and then we have made it all the way over here. And like I said, we are going to maintain this set of two double crochet, but we are going to try and taper it in and yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> Into the previous row, we first had a chain out of two on this side. So we're going to do a chain out of three, maintain our set of two double crochet. And then we had a chain out of one, two, three, four on this side. So we're going to do a chain out of three on this side. So once when we have this, I'll meet you guys back. So in the previous row, we are going to add another chain onto this side. So we had a chain out of two. So we're going to do a chain out of one, two, three. And then we're going to maintain the set of two double crochet. So there's one and there's two. And then in the previous row on this side, we're going to subtract. We had a chain out of one, two, three, four. So I'm going to make a chain out of three. And it's just a coincidence that they're both three. I didn't do that on purpose. But what we're going to do from here is actually just do a shell into this V stitch that we have. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then do our first shell into this guy. Here is our first double crochet, second, third, chain out three, and then three double crochet, two, three. And then on this side, we had chain three, two double crochet, chain three. We're going to do the same thing on this side. And then we're going to work our way all the way down, maintaining our 
detail portion, chain up three, work our way back, maintaining this detail with the next row that we have, and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can figure out this middle section together. Okay, so this is what we now have. We have just gone through with our second row of loops, and now we're at our shell. And then we do want this to all connect somehow. So we are going to decrease on both sides now. So since I ended up having a chain of three on this side and a chain of three on this side, I'm going to do a chain of two, set of two double crochet, chain of two, and then maintain this shell in the middle so that for the next row, we can just go straight across with shells. And with that being said, if your chains aren't the same as mine, if you didn't end with chain of three and chain of three, that is totally fine. Whatever you guys have, go ahead and just subtract one from each side and go for it from there. But we'll do these two together and then we'll continue on with this row, meet each other back, and then we'll continue to do this guy. So into this next row, what we're gonna do is a chain out of two since we have a chain out of three in the previous row and we want this to start tapering in. So what we're gonna do is chain out two or however many you guys have just subtract one prepare for a double crochet put one double crochet into the next double crochet loop one double crochet into the next double crochet loop and then in the previous row i have another set of chain three so i'm going to chain two prepare for a double crochet and then maintain this shell right here so there's one two three double crochet we're going to chain up three and then put three more double crochet into that loop. There's two and there's three. And then we're just gonna do this next section together, which is the same as what we just did, but we have a chain out of three on this side, so we're going to subtract. We have a chain out of two now. We're gonna prepare for a double crochet. Put one double crochet into each double crochet loop. So there's one and then there's two. And then right here we have a chain out of three, so we're gonna subtract one. We're gonna do a chain out of two, and then we're going to maintain our shell. And then once we get here, we're going to continue going back down, doing our detail, chain up three, go back doing our detail. And then I'll meet you guys back once we get about here so that we can do the rest. And now that we have made our way back, this is what we should have. And we're basically done tapering this guy in. Our last row that we had was a chain two, set of two double crochet, chain two, shell, and same thing on this side. And we're actually very close to this middle shell. So what we're gonna do is actually just skip this chain altogether, just maintain the two double crochet, go in with our shell, and then continue doing the rest. So let's do that together. So now that we're here, our previous row was a chain two, two double crochet, chain two. What we're gonna do from here is just skip all of these loops since we are so close to being into the middle and we're going to go in with one double crochet into each loop so there's one and there is two and this is what we should have once we have that we're going to skip this as well we're going to prepare for a double crochet insert our hook into this shell and go in with another shell and we're going to do the same thing on the other side and we're going to maintain the detail that we have on this side, work our way back, and then I'll meet you back once when we get about here again. So we've just made our way all the way back down. We just did our, what is this, one, two, three, fourth row of our loops, and we are back down here. And since we don't have any more chains in between our shell and our set of two double crochet in our shell, we're going to stop this here. So we're just going to maintain this. So into this last shell we aren't going to do any more chains we're just going to do a set of two double crochet shell set of two double crochet shell so this will remain the same but this and this will continue going on with our detail that we've so kindly made for ourselves and then just like how we stopped in this one for these two guys we're going to stop once when we only have three loops left and then we're going to do another middle guy and then we'll just continue to do this pattern all the way down until you guys have the length that you guys want. So I'll meet you guys back once when these are very close to being finished and then we can continue on with the rest of our work. So we are now here. Like I said, we kept going until we just had three loops left on our little detail section. 
and then this is going to remain the same same way that we ended off this guy but once when we get here now that we have our three loops we're going to start another detail section into this middle loop that we have so it doesn't matter if you guys have more than three of these uh shells <laughs> over here just as long as you guys have that one middle one that traces all the way up from our middle detail that's going to be where we start so i'm going to go ahead and continue to do this all the way down until i get here and then i'll show you guys what to do and then the rest will be all the same we'll just have at it from there so we've just made our way over to our middle shell and what we're going to do is put an rv but we do have our little section of set of two double crochets in right here so what we're going to do is actually do the same thing that we did down here when we first started. So when we first did our V, what we did was we did a chain one, set of two double crochet, chain three, and then our V. And our V was double crochet, chain three, double crochet. And then once we get to this end, chain three, set of two double crochet, chain one, and then the rest. So we're going to do that one more time over here, but I'm going to leave this a little bit further away just so you guys can actually see what's happening. So once when we get here, we're going to chain out one and then we're going to insert our hook into this first double crochet loop. Here is one double crochet and then into the next double crochet loop. Just like that. So we're still tracing this up. Once when we have that, we're going to chain out one, two, three. And then into the middle of this shell, we're going to go in with our V. So just one double crochet chain three and then one more double crochet into the middle of this shell and then once we have that chain out one two three prepare for a double crochet and now we're going to go into this which is our set of two double crochet so there's one there's two and once we have that we're going to chain up one and then just go straight into the next shell with another shell and then uh, we will be maintaining the rest of this once when this tapers up completely. So we've made our way back and we have done just a couple rows once when this side detail is all finished and it turns out that it is going to be exactly the same as this middle detail. So now that we're here, we're just going to continue to go straight up with our shells until, since we're doing our middle detail, until we only have three loops left in our middle detail. And then from there, we're going to start the side ones again and then keep alternating like that for as long as you guys want. And then I'll meet you guys back once we have this entire back piece done. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are back. We are not quite done yet, but I just wanted to come back to show you guys some things really quick. So we're just going to do a quick run through. From the beginning, we have a row of double crochet. We're not going to go through everything, but all the way up until we have our first detail this is our middle one and then at some point in the middle of that we started our second row of detail which is the two outside ones somewhere in the middle of this we have started our next middle detail and we are about to start doing our side details again we're going to have to do this a couple times if we want this to be a full length duster cardigan you guys can obviously stop or yeah, stop whenever <laughs> you want this cardigan to stop. Or if you just get tired, I completely understand. I feel like I've been doing this for like three days. But anyways, <laughs> what we're going to do from here is exactly the same way that we have started everything else. I just wanted to come back and do a quick recap so that no one is confused because I myself was confused. It's not a you thing. It's just a big piece. But really quickly, what we're going to do is just take a look at where we're at. As you guys can see, we have our middle detail and we have our three loops. And then you guys know once when we have our three loops in the middle detail or any detail, we're going to start doing the opposite detail. So now we're going to start doing our side detail. And this is going to be just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit different than the way that we started doing our first side detail, mainly because we already have these three, th three double crow. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like four in the morning we already have our three shells right here and what we're going to do from here is actually just continue going on with what we already have so to start off this first side detail row what we're going to do is do as many shells as we need to until we get to this middle section right here and this is going to be the same i just wanted to do a quick one through with you guys 
But once we get here, you guys already know, once we get to our set of two double crochet, all we're going to do is chain out one because we haven't been chaining out one this entire time. We're going to chain out one, prepare for a double crochet, put one into each of these loops. There is one and there is two, just like how we've been doing. And then once we get here, we're going to do a chain out of three and then we're going to do our V into the middle of this shell. So one double crochet, chain out three, one, two, three, and another double crochet into the middle of this shell. Just like that. And then from here, chain out three, prepare for a double crochet, go into that next double crochet loop with one double crochet, and then into that next double crochet loop with another double crochet, chain out one, and shell. And this is what we should have. We have our first V on the side, and then we're going to finish up doing this middle section, and then we're just going to keep going until we don't want it to go anymore. So I just wanted to come back and talk to you guys about that, and then once we have that done, we will actually be moving on towards the front panels, sleeves, and the hood, which is a lot more to do. But I will meet you guys back once we have all of this guide done. So this is what I have so far. I'm not completely finished yet, so I'm not going to show you the entire thing. I'm actually just going to come and talk to you guys about just how we're going to finish this off. But just to let you guys know, so far, I have a total of 45 inches or 114 centimeters. But I just wanted to tell you guys that since I am almost done with mine and I am doing my two details that we have on the side, we're not going to start doing the middle detail because we want this to end. So we're just going to keep this middle portion the same but go ahead and end off the two side details or the middle whichever one you have but we're going to keep the middle or the sides the same and then we're going to cut and tie and then I'll come back and show you guys the length and then we can do the rest so a few hours later and I am finally all done with this back piece and just to let you guys know from the end that I ended on all the way to our first double crochet row we have a total of 50 inches or 127 centimeters and just to let you guys see where i ended once we finish doing our two details on the side as you can see this was our last loop the row that we did after that was our v stitch row and the row that we did after that was our shell and then you guys can keep going with more shells if you guys want this to be a little bit longer or if you want this to even out a little bit more but i decided to end it here and then next we can start doing the front panels. So we are now all finished with our entire back piece and now we're going to need to do a similar piece but in twos for the front panels. And that's going to be pretty much the same but we're just going to talk about how we're going to start it off really really quickly. So I'm going to grab the back piece to show you guys what we're going to do. So just as an example we're going to take a look at the back really quick because I need to speak to you guys about how many shells we need and how we're going to get started with this. So if we look at the whole back, as you guys can see, when we started doing our detail, we went in between two shells instead of going directly into a shell. And we want to keep it that way. So what we're going to do is make sure that we have an even amount of shells when we go into doing our first front panel. So I have measured mine out, and this is actually perfect for me. I'm going to make sure that I have a chain that is enough for these four shells, and then I'm going to go in from there. But if you guys need it to be bigger, then go ahead and do the same thing. Just make sure that you have a middle loop for you guys to go into in between your shells once when we actually need to do the detail. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the first chain with you guys, and then we'll do the rest together. So working off of that back piece that I just showed you guys, I went ahead and measured out the amount of stitches or chains that I needed so that we can make sure that we have the right amount of shells in the next few rows. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by making a chain that comes out to 8 inches or 20 centimeters. Now that I have my chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain. Do a chain up of 3. This counts as a double crochet, and this is basically just like the back side. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off, or the fourth loop from the hook, with a double crochet. And we're going to go down our chain, putting one double crochet into every loop. We've just finished up going down our chain that we just made with a row of double crochet. And I have the back here just so we can take a look at it. We're basically just going to do the same thing from where we did our double crochet row all the way down 
until we get to our V stitch that we made at the end of our detail portion. And then we'll meet each other back once we get here. But just as a really quick refresher, our first row right here is a row of shells with a double crochet in between. And then we have another row of shell with nothing in between the shells, just a chain one. And then in between our middle loops that we have, we're going to go in with a V, a fan, fan expansion. And then from here, we just have a bunch of loops that we go into that all decrease that come to a point while maintaining these, these, while maintaining this set of two double crochet along the side. And then I'll meet you guys back once we make our way all the way down here. So as you guys can see, this is where we're at once when we have our front panel kind of finished up with our detail portion. I went ahead and did this entire portion all the way down until we got to our V stitch at the end of our point. And now we're going to take a look at the back so that we can count out and see how many regular rows we're going to do before we start doing another pineapple stitch detail portion. Let's put this aside for now. And this is our back. This is the first pineapple stitch that we did. And then once when we get here, what we're going to do is count out and see how many shells we have in between this first detail portion versus the second detail portion because we want this to be even. So if you guys followed this pattern, then we should have the same amount. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight of these shells. But if you guys went ahead and made more or less of our fans, that's fine. Go ahead and just count out, see how many rows you guys have to do before you guys are going to start another one of these pineapple stitches. So like I said, I have eight. So I'm not going to show you guys, but it's going to be exactly the same way that we did this portion, except we're not going in with our side details. So we're just going to continue on with this pattern going in like this. And then once we have the same amount of shells that we have, then we're going to do another pineapple stitch. And then we're going to do the same thing. If you guys have your cardigan as long as mine, we're just going to keep doing this until our front panel is the same length as our back panel. And once we have that, I'll meet you guys back just to show you what I have. But once we have that, we're going to do a second one. We are now all finished with just one of our front panels. I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing because you guys already know what it looks like. But once we have this, go ahead and make another one. I'll make mine off camera, but we are going to connect it to the back piece so that we can start making our sleeve from here. In order to start connecting our pieces, what we're going to do is first lay down our back piece. And then we're going to take our front panel that we have, lay it on top, and we're first going to go in with a layer of single crochet going from this outside corner, working our way in. So looking at what we have, we're first going to insert our hook into the front panel's corner and then also into the back panel's corner. If we can, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook. And then once we have this, we're going to pull through everything and then chain up one to secure. And then once we have that, we're just going to be going in with a row of single crochet, making sure that we go in through the front panel and the back panel. And we're going to do that all the way down. So into this first available loop in the front panel, we're going to insert our hook and then into the next available loop in the back panel, insert our hook into there. And then we should have these two loops and then this loop on our hook as well. Once we have that, we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do the next one again. Insert our hook into the next front panel loop, into the next back panel loop, and single crochet. And then from here, we're going to continue doing this all the way down until we don't have any more of the front panel to go into. We're going to cut and tie, and then we're going to connect the sides, but we are going to leave a hole on the side up here for our armhole. We've just finished up doing our single crochet row that connects the front panel to the back panel. And now what we're going to do is try it on. And once we try it on, we're going to want to figure out where we want our armhole to be. And I already went ahead and did mine. And I have a total of 9 inches or 23 centimeters. So I went ahead and put in my stitch marker. And then from here, we're going to go from where the stitch marker is, working our way all the way down with our single crochet rows, just like how we did over here, making sure that the front and the back panel are sandwiched together. And then we're going to do that all the way down. We are ready to get started doing our single crochet going down the side. And as you guys can see, the loop that I inserted my stitch marker into is actually the side of one of our shells. And that's going to be the first actual loop that we go into because other than that, we can just be going into all of these big gaps that we have. But this is just to make sure that it doesn't slide up and down one of these gaps. 
So in through the front panel, I'm going to insert my hook into there. And also we have inserted our stitch marker into that same loop in the back panel. So let's take this out and insert our hook in through that same loop there. Once we have that, we're going to pull through, chain up one to secure. So we're just going to do a couple of these together. We're going to make sure that our front and our back panel are sandwiched on top of each other. And then we're going to insert our hook into this big gap that we have, which is super easy for us, making sure that we're going in through both panels and just single, cro whoa, single crochet from there. And then since all of these are side double crochets, we're going to be going in with two single crochets into each of these gaps. So there's one, there's two, and then once we have that, we're going to skip over to this next gap that we have, go in with one, two single crochet, next gap, one, two, making sure that we're going in through both panels. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down. We've made it all the way down doing our single crochet, making sure that everything was sandwiched together. And one side is all connected. The last thing that we have to do on this side is just go in with our sleeve. And that is going to be the most regular thing that we've done so far. But all we're going to do is go in with a row of single crochet for our first layer. Going in with our first row of single crochet, what we're going to do is insert our hook into any one of these loops. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to insert my hook into here somewhere near the seam. We're going to pull this through, chain up one to secure, and then since all of these are side double crochets, we're going to be going in with two single crochets into each side double crochet. So this chain up one doesn't count as anything, at least I don't count it as anything, so I'm going to be putting two more single crochets into this side double crochet that we're just in. So here is one and here is two. Once we have that, we're just going to make our way all the way around. So into this next side double crochet, here's one, here's two, and keep doing this all the way around. Once we make it around to the end, we are going to connect with a slip stitch. We have just slip stitched into our first single crochet loop that we had, and now we're going to work on the majority of the sleeve, which is all going to be shells. So what we're going to do is start off by doing a chain up of three. Our shell is going to start off just like how our work has started off for the body portion. So it's going to be a shell, double crochet shell, and then rows after that is going to be shell, chain one shell. So let's do a little bit of the first row together. We did that chain up of three. That's going to be our one double crochet post. We're going to prepare for a double crochet and then we're going to count out three loops. Here's one, two, three. We're going to insert our hook into that third loop with a shell. So there's one double crochet two double crochet and three all into that same loop from there we're going to chain out three Ooh, prepare for a double crochet and then put three more into that same loop so there's one there's two and then there's three and then this is our first shell what we're going to do from here is prepare for a double crochet count out one two three loops insert your hook into that third with just one double crochet and then once we have that, prepare for a double crochet, count out one, two, three loops again, and then do another shell into that third loop. And our shell, just as a refresher, is three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. And we're going to keep doing this all the way around. And then once we get back to the end, we're going to slip stitch. We're going to start off the next row with each other. And then from there, we're just going to go for it. So I'll meet you guys back once we have that done. This is what we should have so far for our first row of the sleeve. This is our shell, double crochet shell, and we made it all the way around and slip stitched into that first set of chain of three that we did. And then from here, we're going to chain up three. This is going to stay consistent just to work our way up to the next row, but we're not gonna do any more double crochets that are single like this. So from here, we're gonna prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into this next shell with a shell. So let's do this together really quickly. There's three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, two and three. And then once we get here, like I said, we're not gonna be doing a double crochet. So we're going to chain out one, prepare for a double crochet, and then go into this next shell with another shell directly on top of that. So there's one, two, three, chain out three, and then three more into that same shell. And then this is going to be the remainder of our sleeve. So go ahead and keep doing this until you guys have the length that you guys want. This can be three quarter length, short sleeve, long sleeve, whatever you guys want. But I'll meet you guys back once when I have mine done so that we can compare notes. 
I've just finished up doing my entire sleeve and that was just our row of shells. And just to let you guys know, from our first row of shells all the way down to where I ended, mine is a long sleeve, I have a total of 21 and a half inches or 55 centimeters. And now that we have all of this done, and by all of this I mean the front panel and the sleeve and we've connected everything on the sides, we're going to do the same thing that we have here on the other side. Okay, so we are so close so so close to being done with this i know this has been a long video but the last thing that we're going to do this is actually optional if you guys don't want the hood then just skip it and then you're fine but the last thing we're going to do together is the hood and what we're going to do this is going to be a little tricky but it all depends on the gap that you guys have where your neck is in between the two side panels and once when you guys have the two side panels on go ahead and try this on and then the hood is actually going to come down a little bit onto the side panels and that's where you guys see our stitch markers and this is going to be where the edge of the hood starts that goes up and over your head obviously so i went ahead and measured mine out i was comfortable with it hanging about three inches below where our shoulder portion was or that's about eight centimeters so I went ahead and put in my stitch markers, making sure that they're even on both sides. And then from here, we're going to be going in with a row of single crochet all the way around until we get to the other stitch marker. But like I said, this all depends on the gap that you guys have. As you guys can see, mine is fairly small and we can't just go in with one single crochet. Otherwise, our hood would be ridiculously small. So what we're going to do is our first row is going to be a row of regular single crochets into every side double crochet and then into every loop that we have back here and then we're going to go in with an increasing row of double crochet so it's basically going to be this nonsense <laughs> all over again so i'll meet you guys back once when we have our row of single crochet going in from here going all the way around next to or all the way down to our next stitch marker so as you guys can see, we have gone in with our row of single crochet going all the way around. And our next row is going to be a row of increased double crochet where we're going to be increasing into every other loop. But we're also going to be going in through the back loop so that there's a really nice crease for the hood once when we put this on. So let's do that together. So really quickly, right before we get started, I just wanted to mention that all of our seams are facing outwards. It's not right side out yet so we're going to do it this way so that once when we do flip it inside out our hood has a really nice crease to go into but now that we know that what we're going to do is chain up three this counts as a double crochet we are going to flip our work and then into this first back loop we're going to put one double crochet so into this next available back loop that we have we're going to go in with just one double crochet and then once we have that we're going to prepare for another double crochet and then increase into this next loop. So there is one increase, or one double crochet, and then two double crochet into the same loop, and that counts as an increase. And we're gonna be doing that for every other loop. So let's do that again. Into this next loop, we're gonna prepare for a double crochet, go into this back loop, put one double crochet, let's do the same thing into the next loop, but be doing two. So we're gonna prepare for a double crochet, go into this back loop, one double crochet, and two into that same loop and that's it as you guys can see we have one double crochet two one two so we're just increasing into every other loop making sure that we're going in through the back loops and we're gonna do this all the way around we just made our way all the way down with our row of back loop double crochets where we increased into every other loop and now we're gonna do another increase row but we are gonna be going straight into the pattern and it's going to be exactly the same as we did the front panels and the back. So for this first row, it's going to be shell, double crochet, shell, double crochet. And we're going to keep alternating like that. And in the previous rows, we were going into every third loop. Now we're going to be going into every other loop. So let's get this next row started together. We're going to chain up three. That counts as a double crochet. We're going to prepare for a double crochet. We're going to be skipping this first loop that we have and then inserting our hook into the loop after that with a shell. And our shells are gonna be the same. So it is three, double crochet, chain three, and then three more double crochet into that loop. There's one, two, and three. And then once we have that, we're gonna prepare for a double crochet, skip one loop, go into the loop after that with a double crochet. 
and this is what we should have. We're going to do this together just one more time. We're going to prepare for a double crochet, skip one loop, go into the loop after that with a shell. So we're going to automatically go in with three double crochet, chain three if we can, and then three more double crochet into that same loop. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down. We've just made it all the way around with our increased shell row. So it was shell, double crochet, shell, double crochet, shell, all into just every other loop. So we were just skipping one loop in between. And now we're going to go in with our regular pattern. So from here, we're going to go in with a row of shell with a chain one in between, nothing fancy. So let's start this off together. We're going to start off with a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet. Let's flip our work and then into this first shell that we have, we're going to prepare for a double crochet insert our hook into that first shell with another shell. So three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. Once we're done with that, we're going to chain one and then put our next shell into this next shell that we have. And we're gonna keep doing that all the way down. We now have our second row of shell and the second row was just a row of shell, chain one shell, nothing fancy. And just like in the pattern that we did for the front panels and the back, we are now going to start doing our shells until we get to this middle point. I went ahead and put in a stitch marker to block that off. Once we get to that middle point, we're going to go in with our V stitch, finish off our shells, and we're actually going to continue doing the actual pineapple pattern until we reach our, what are they called? The fan extensions. So all the way up until we get to this row. So we're basically, let's show you guys, going to be doing the next three rows so we have this V that we did right here and then we have our fan and then we have our fan extension and then we're gonna stop right after this because this is where our work starts to decrease which is fine we're going to continue to decrease but we don't want our entire hood to decrease so once when we get here we're going to start adding little increases on the ends just to maintain the size but for now go ahead and do your row that has the V stitch in the middle the fan and the fan expansion same numbers same everything and then i'll meet you guys back so within our hood we've just got finished up doing our first three rows of our detail and the first one was a v stitch second was our fan third was our fan expansion and now we're going to continue the pattern we're just going to take a look at this back one really quick so we have our rows up to about right here and now we're going to start doing these little loops that we made but we do want to increase this so that it doesn't taper in as much as it does right here as you guys can see and that's going to be super simple once when we make our way over to the set of two double crochet everything is going to be the same we're going to be doing our shells all the way up until we get to our set of two double crochet it's going to be a chain one two double crochet and then into this first set of loops that we did we did a chain out of two and then we went in with our loops but for the increase we're going to start off by doing a chain out of three and then do the increase chain out of three here two double crochet chain one and then shells moving on but once we have that everything else is going to remain the same so taking a look at the back just as a quick recap into this first row where we had our loops we did our set of two chains and then into the row after that and into the row after that so we were doing our set into three rows and then into the next three rows we increased it by a chain and so on and so forth we're going to do the same thing here but instead of starting off with two chains we're going to start off with three so i'm going to do my shells all the way down until we get to about here and then i'll just remind you guys what we're going to do right before we get into our loops and then we'll go on from there so we just made our way all the way down with our row of shells and we made our way to our set of two double crochet and we're going to do the same thing so once we get here we're going to do a chain out of one prepare for a double crochet put one double crochet into the first double crochet put another double crochet into the next double crochet and since we're going into the hood we're going to do a chain out of three so one two and three once we have that we're going to go into that first set of two double crochet right in between that gap with a single crochet and then from here we're going to go in with our loops so chain out three into this next gap single crochet chain out three single crochet then we're going to keep doing this all the way around once we make it to the end we're going to chain out three 
set up two double crochet, chain out one, and then shell. And keep going back and forth like that until we have three rows of our chain of three. And then after we have our chain out of three, we have three of those rows. We're going to do another set of three rows of chain out of four. After that, three rows of chain out of five. And that's going to be our increase. And we're going to keep doing that until we just have one loop left in our pineapple stitch. So this is what our hood looks like. And I told you guys to stop once when we got to our last loop in our detail section in which it's perfect but i'm actually going to be going just a couple more rows up just so that this gets the length that i want and just to let you guys know if you guys want to end it here that's fine you guys can skip the next few clips and then we'll show you guys how to connect the hood so that this will be all finished with but as for me i'm going to stretch this out just a little bit more so into the detail just like how we did the ones in the back or the front panels whichever one they're all the same I'm just going to add the next two rows and then from there we're going to even everything out and then we're going to sew everything up so that this is ready to be worn as a hood. So I'm back with my hood and I finished up doing the next two rows in our pattern and from the bottom all the way up to the top we have a total of 15 inches or 38 centimeters and what we're going to do next is even out our work so that we can connect everything together. And now we're going to even out our chains. So since we're here, we're going to do a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet. And then into this kind of gap that we've left for ourselves, we're actually going to be doing another chain up of two. So we're going to have five chains in total. And then when we get to the shell, we're going to be going in with one single crochet. And that's how we connect it. And once when we have that, we're going to chain out another five. And then into the next shell, we're going to do another single crochet. And we're just going to keep doing this all the way down, maintaining our set of two double crochet as well. Have another set of chain five in between those and then do that all the way down. We have now made our way all the way to the end with our row of chains. And what we're going to do is end this off the same way that we started it. So we're going to do a chain out of two. We're going to prepare for a double crochet and then go into that last loop just with one double crochet. And this is what we should have once we have our evening out row of just chains. And now what we're going to do is connect the two corners in and we're going to go in with a row of single crochet and then we'll be all done. And right before we connect everything, we're going to make sure that our seam is going to be on the same side as our other seams so that when we flip it inside out, everything is going to be hidden. So go ahead and fold it whichever way you guys need to fold it. Now that we're here, we're going to go all the way down with a row of single crochet and just make sure that your hook is going in through both the front and the back panel all the way down until you can't anymore and then once you have that go ahead and cut and tie now that we have the hood all finished up the last thing we're going to do is do a row of single crochet going all the way down our front panel to clean up the edges we're not going to show that because it's super easy but just go ahead and put two single crochets into each side double crochet and connect it into the hood with a single crochet and this is what it looks like once we have our row of single crochet going all the way down and we are basically all done. Go ahead and just weave in all of your ends and we are good to go. Pats on the back to y'all for making it all the way to the end of this video. It was a big one, but so worth it. I can't believe we were able to do this on camera together and I'm so proud and so happy to be sharing this with you guys. I hope y'all love it just as much as I do and I hope y'all remake it because I'd love to see it in different colors. But if you like this video or any other video on the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It's right beneath the video. It lets YouTube and I know you're enjoying the videos and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow and gain traction. But if you didn't like it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs down, but be sure to leave me a comment letting me know why you didn't like it. Or if you have any questions, requests, or if you just want to say hi, I usually reply pretty quick. And if you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's right beneath the video. It'll let you know when there's a new video uploaded to the channel, gets you a bit more priority when it comes to requests, and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow so we can keep making all these great videos for you guys. And if you're already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys, but please hit that notification bell to know when there's a new video uploaded for you right away. And please share with your friends, every bit helps. And lastly, links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description, and if you buy something using those links, that also goes towards helping out the channel. Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.